Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flickin' Feathers again today and I'm tying a dry fly for you today. This is a Delta Wing Daddy. It's a pattern that I've been tying for oh, 20 years at least. Um, it's very effective. As always, we'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content and be eligible for the monthly giveaways. So I've got my hook and my vise, this is a size 10, 2x long, like a Amazon B830 or a TMCO 5212, something like that. I've got a run on my thread, this is just black 8 uni. Let's take away my waist. Get down to the bend of the hook, and we're ready for the body, which is mole for natural, natural mole. Um, the mole's nice. It's a great dry fly dubbing. Um, it's naturally non-absorbent, so you dub it on quite tight. Get some floating on it. And then even when the fly gets wet and drowned, it's quite easy to dry and reflow it. So I'm just dabbing a decent wee noodle. Right? I mean the a daddy long legs, crane fly is quite a big beastie. Yeah, you don't need to be too sparse or too skinny, you want a a decent amount of dubbing, just, just make sure you get the right shape as you go, sort of long, very slightly tapered body, and I'm going to stop about there, which is Good three or four mil, two and a half eye lengths from the the eye, and I'm just going to rub this body, stroke the fibres, and it'll sort of bug it, bug out some of them and sort of slick them back. It gives you quite a nice effect. Now we're ready for the legs. Just knotted pheasant tail. And you need six. Obviously, although I used to tie them for a friend of mine, and he always asked me to put eight legs on um, in case of breakages. One, two, three, there we go. Make sure your legs are sort of roughly lined up. And you want three on each side. On the underside. You can have them quite long. Um, and I like them well beyond the back of the body there. So I will... one and a half to twice the length of the dubbed abdomen. Let's get them secured and make sure they stay under. Um, this fly I use on days where it's not that windy but they're still daddies coming off or getting blown onto the water or falling in the water or when the fish have been sort of used to eating them for a wee while. Um, and I'm I just fish it static, I don't move it, I don't pull it. And I, I think it's sort of, they take it as a sort of drowned or drowning insect. Wings, I've got two grizzly hackles here. You could use badger, badger works alright. 
Um, I'm just going to measure them so that when I tie them in they'll be just slightly longer than the body. Catch them in. A couple of wraps. See how they're sitting. At this stage you can sort of position them. Make sure they're the same length. And I want them I'm just going to cock them slightly to the side. But still above. The body. Just fold the tips back, or fold the waist ends back and trim that away. Right. Hackle, also using Grizzly. Or, if you want, you could use Badger. Using a saddle hackle this time. Catch it in. Trim the butt and just tidy up everything. So I've got a nice smooth area to wind my hackle. And I'm just going to go forward and touch and turns. Build a dense collar right up to the eye. Right, come right up to the eye. Look, you'll feel that you're going to rush the eye a wee bit. Come across your thread. Three turns, right? Plenty, that's it, it's well held. Now take everything and pull it back and wind back over it, building a small neat head, and this will sort of force the hackle back. And then you can push your scissors on that so you don't cut any of the rest of the hackle. But we take another wee one turn back there just to. Like that. You can see that that hackle's sloping back, which is what I want. And I can just come in and whip finish. And your fly's done. Now, come away your thread. You can leave it like that. But I almost always would end up trimming the hackle on the underside. Um, I'll just show you because you can do it on the water if you want, but I fish that like that, right? Um, if you want to have the option, you can leave the hackle alone as the one, the f first one that I had in my vice. And then you can fish it a bit more aggressively. But I, I prefer a different pattern for that. This one, calm days, only a light wind, still daddy's falling. This is like a drowned or a drowning insect that sits really low and it'll work well even subsurface. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines, guys. Bye.